today we're going to do a cauliflower soup. So we've got, I've got half a large cauliflower which I've chopped up and cleaned up and chopped up the florets. I've got one a chopped white onion, uh, three chopped up garlic cloves, some olive oil and some chicken stock. Now I've got about a litre of chicken stock here, which you can't see, made up of two oxo chicken oxo cubes and two chicken nor cubes. I just you can use vegetable cubes, but I prefer I prefer the chicken cubes. Now I'm going to heat a saucepan up, fairly heavy saucepan. And while I'm waiting to heat up, I'm just going to have a quick pinot gris. It's a crazy chef. He's known for a having a nibble, having a, a sniff of what he's cooking, and also he may start throwing stuff around. But anyway, right. I'm now going to the olive oil's warm. I'm now going to put the onion in. Garlic in. That's a stick. Right, this is, I'm going to have it for probably a two or three minutes just to soften the onion and just caramelise it a bit. I'm now going to add a pinch of tarragon. You can use cumin, but I haven't got any cumin, so I'm going to put a bit of tarragon in there. Some coriander. If I have cumin, I'll put some cumin in. Now I'm now going to just let it toast off for another couple of minutes. Right, I'm now going to add about a litre, well actually, yeah, I'm going to add a litre of the chicken stock. Right, I've add, added most of it. I'm going to put the break up and put the uh, Cauliflower Just break it up with your, with your hands, a little bit of leaves. You got the stumps, I mean, put that in as well, I mean, don't waste it. Look at that. Now I'm going to put the rest of the stock in, so we've got about a litre of chicken stock. If you want to make your, if you've got chicken bones, I mean, make the stock stock up with your chicken bones and freeze it, but I tend to use oxo, oxo cubes. It's, we are really doing things for busy chefs, not people who are spending an awful lot of time in the kitchen. Check out that. Right, I'm going to put some ground, black ground, I love this, ground black pepper. And at the end I may put a little bit of Worcester sauce in, you can put white wine in if you wanted to, but I will put some cream in later on. Right, I'm going to bring it up to the boil and then let it simmer. I'm just going to use one of these squishers first just to get it started. Then I'm going to use a blender, a stick blender. It's probably not quite soft enough. And I'm going to try stick blender. Let it cool off, turn it off. We've blended the soup, the cauliflower, it's lovely consistency. It's up to you, depending on how much uh, stock you use, how, much, how thick you want it. Right, I'm now going to. Um, a little bit of salt, I don't like using a lot of salt, but I just put it in my hand, a little bit of salt and some ground pepper, okay. Right, 
and I'm going to put in about 100 mils of double cream. Just going to gauge it at 100 mils double cream. Look at that. And there we've got cream of cauliflower soup. Cream of cauliflower soup, and if you want to just decorate it with a little bit of basil.